Welcome, agents, to Strain 88-KNB of the Zero Point Report, the number one broadcast all about the news surrounding the League of World IP. Today is Thursday, December 21st, 2023, and I am Ocho, one of the hosts for this evening. With me tonight, we have Two Ton Waffle. Howdy. Hey, hey, man. How's it going? And we have streaming on his own channel at twitch.com slash Jimmy the Rabbit, Jimmy the Rabbit. Hey, yo. Hey, man. How are you? Tired. Eventually <laughs> <laughs> tired. Hold on. Yeah, uh, you're on a different mic. Yeah, yeah, I'm you're picking up your mic. mic is, uh, yeah. What do you mean? Sounds like the camera mic or something. You're coming in very soft. Or like you're far away, coming in really far away. Mm. Oh, there we go. Oh. Speak to us. It's not labeled. There we go. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what about now? Now you're Now you're better. Now you're good. Yeah. Okay. So it wouldn't be a stream if there would be any kind of uh, technical issues. Of course. I hope I didn't miss a good build in that 30 seconds. God damn it, dude. I'm going to time out on this run. <laughs> what are you doing right now? Where are you at? Um, You're doing in, uh, oh, Dark Agartha? Dark Agartha E17 challenge mode randomized. Okay, okay. On your... Uh, on your um... Not your new oh, character. We'll get into that. But no, yeah, no, not this your is new... on Jimmy. Yeah. This is this is E seventeen. So I'm running the randomizer mod on Jimmy on E seventeen Doctor Gartha, which means if I don't get the right random build, this thing just murders me. <laughs> <laughs> like if you don't have a cleanse for cursed, you die. So if I get a build without cleanse, I just die. So you have to wait thirty seconds to get a, a decent build. Yeah. I mean, technically, there's a button to force it, but like part of the challenge is like Dark and Garth is timed, so like I'm just wait, like you know what I'm saying? Otherwise, I could just keep spamming like change build infinitely, and it's not that's not really a challenge. No, no. All right, here we go. This has a cleanse and an impair. Okay, getting lucky. Maybe, maybe. I wasted so much time though. This is the second boss. <laughs> and I have ten minutes left. So you're gonna log in to the game waffle? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're just on the thing. But welcome. Welcome everybody. Uh joining us in chat. Uh it's been a while. We've had well, I have had issues. I don't think you guys have had nearly enough nearly nearly the issues uh that has prevented be from um doing stuff but yes but welcome uh to those in chat you and me welcome bomber hey refum hey scratch hey gang's all here hope you all are doing well oh uh, doing pretty good <sighs> i am now i am now on my brandy brandy new computer because after all the uh, family drama and family issues I was having, uh, my PC decided to give out. Good timing. Well, that's the best time that I usually can go, right? That's right. But I had the component parts all ready to build a second one, and now I am once more gaming at 60 frames per second. Amazing. Nice. Not going any higher, um, only because the monitors I have are still 60 hertz monitors, and so pushing it any harder than 60 just seems unnecessary. Revum says, y'all got 69% of my Twitch watch time this year. Nice. Oh, yeah, the um, uh, Twitch recaps came out. Twitch recap. Yeah. Also, t technically still alive. Yeah, that's uh, that's how I felt for most of November and December. I've been seeing this new game called Once Human and couldn't help but get reminded of TSW. Ooh. 
Oh, yeah. I also get a different why? microphone. No, I got the same microphone, but my levels might be different because I do not remember where the levels were. I've heard that a lot about Once Human. Uh, I'm I've been playing the beta. Uh, I I don't know, man. I don't know about that. Like it reminds me more of Control than Secret World. Honestly, let me take a look. Once Human. A new weird sandbox survival. Okay. Starting off with weird. <laughs> they haven't played Control. I mean, I suppose that's fair then. They haven't played Control. Oh my gosh, this website is taking forever to load. <laughs> <laughs> the website's like loading. Thirty percent, forty percent. That's a weird thing about this new system i can't like it feels almost slower your mic does keep like kind of yeah right? you have is like it? maybe your noise gate yeah. or something is activating maybe probably yeah like sometimes i'm super loud and sometimes super quiet and then it goes it goes back and forth between it Yeah, Riffin also has, it's a good point. Um, make sure to check your mic if it has a directional or, or, or omnidirectional. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I have it on cardioid. Fuck. Ooh, surely this build will work. It will work, and don't call me Shirley. <laughs> I need this build for the next boss fuck. <laughs> Turn off some stuff. Discord has a whole bunch of options like automatic gain control, which could possibly be part of the problem. It only took us two lives in five minutes to get through the first boss. Totally fine. <laughs> totally fine. You're okay. Let me change the input sensitivity. Testing. One, two. Testing. One, two. Testing. One, two. Yeah, it's still going. Really? Testing one, two. Testing one, two. What the fuck? You like that, Balmer? <laughs> Rip. Testing. Testing one, two. Give us long strings of words put together in a semblance of cohesion. How are you doing? I hope you all are doing well tonight. It is. We do have news. We do have plenty of news. Let me let me try a nuclear option here. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure what's doing it. Hold on. Windows Windows 11. What are you going to do? Oh, look, sacrificial. Yeah. <gasps> Goodbye. That's so kind of them though. I know, right? They just want us to be a better channel. They just want to promote us. So nice. Band. All right. Pardon me. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try the nuclear option. I'm going to just unplug it and plug it back in and see what happens. Yeah, ref. Uh, you should promo. You should go into other channels. It's like, excuse me, oh, I hate to bother you, but <laughs> fuck me, this fucking guy, man. Holy shit. 
So what price should be uh, should you be having, Ref? What 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 is your price list? What are you guys doing? Um, we're doing some technical troubleshooting. Oh, okay. Uh, Ref, you should also add in that it um. Uh, it'll lower your tax bill or something. <laughs> and rescues cats out of trees. Uh, yeah, usually it's not the... It's been going around a lot of people doing have to do audio... Uh, testing and crap is not working. I've been noticing for like the last month and a half. Especially when people use like guest star, but that's a Twitch thing. It never, never really works all that well. Other than that, it's Christmas time or the holidays. Yeah, watching Zin or Zero Penny Report. <laughs> Hand stuff in your pants? Okay. Just in time for the holidays, right? You can jingle your bells. We got the rainbows. Well, that doesn't mean anything. It's You can jingle your bells. <laughs> no, we cannot. Uh, because you muted yourself. Uh, you have uh, Ocho. If you go into the um, the thing on my Bob, you hit you you did yourself in the uh, on the site. And he's gone. <laughs> and he's back. Testing one two testing. Okay. Can you? I can hear you now. Okay. All right. That was weird. Can you hear me now? Hello? Is it me you're looking for? What's going on here? Because everything on my end started showing it being like, you can hear me. You can hear me okay. Yeah, because it showed up that you had muted yourself. Yeah, I guess the website didn't like that I unplugged it. <laughs> <laughs> am I better now, though? Am I better or am I worse? No, it's, it, you're back to normal. Okay. All right. Then I, I figured it out. Okay. I changed around a thousand settings, so good, good, awesome, good, got it, awesome. All right, thank you, and have a good night. Hey, thank you all for your for your assistance. <laughs> I tried doing tests beforehand, and the test the test came in fine. So I don't know what the heck happened. I don't know. I don't know. New setup. Uh, what are you gonna yeah, do? You hit something. Time to raid, Jimmy. <laughs> ah, <yeah>. <laughs> but good. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, we'll just cut that part out. Yeah, I, th I thought I did all the tests that I needed to do, but apparently not. Apparently I could have should have done more. Uh, into the unknown. Once human. Barren particles stayed dominant in the nether, waiting for the call of the Great One and driving the world into madness. One day, scientists open a gate following a new weird style. Once human combines the rationality and science with the mysteries of the unknown. In a precarious world where all common sense is distorted, will humanity fall into the abyss or thrive on adversity? Yeah, I don't... Okay, maybe a little. What? What? What are you talking about? Uh, to go back on what we're talking about, uh, once human into the unknown. Oh, how much oh. it looks like Secret World. So I I've played that. I'm in the beta. Okay. Um. So it's more like control, in my opinion. Okay. 
But people um, were saying the control sort of felt sort of secret worldy too. I mean, that's that's fair. But like, I'm just saying, like, as far as it's, it's got some. Okay, I'll I'll say my biggest problem honestly is that um, it's the the quest like writing and dialogue right now at least is like really really poor. Oh, which is <laughs> like. So me comparing it to, to Secret World just doesn't seem right. Does that make sense? That's fair. I was saying this mostly looks like a shooter too, like a, uh, an over the shoulder shooter. Um, it's more like um, it's it's like a like a looter shooter like survival thing. I, I okay. feel a lot like um, if you were to cross like Control with Conan Exiles, that's how I feel about it. <laughs> okay. All right. Like, uh, I mean, I've been playing. Uh, one of the other games I'm into is Division Two, and I've been playing a lot of Division Two, and it's sort of giving me that vibes as well, except more, more it's, with it's, uh, the creepy monsters. Yeah, it's got like okay, conceptually, it's kind of cool, and you can kind of swap out butterflies for bees, and like I, I can totally see like surface level stuff, right? And mm-hmm. then it is kind of like the aftermath of the 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 dreamers eating the, the, the universe. Mm-hmm. Like that's, I mean, it's very, it's very like if, if the leftover world is dark Agartha ish and there's a bunch of fucked up shit running around, like it's kind of like that, but it's just um, like when you get into the nuts of ultimate, the get boss. Oh, by the way, the gameplay loop is really good. I'm not knocking the game. Yeah, I played yeah. it for hours without realizing hours went by. Like the gameplay loop itself is good, but the okay. like quest dialogue and story, like actual like writing not, level is much really lower. There. And uh, at least at least so far that I've interacted with, um, now I'm not sure that's natively like English. So some of it could be just not super great translations or something. That makes sense. You know. And it also still is, is beta. Yeah, it's Chinese. So, like, it's also still in beta. But I also kind of feel like they these games generally have a more middle and level writing, right? Like, see, like the the level writing, like the the writing level of Secret World is is rare. It's not it's not common. Right. Right. So, um, I, I don't know how like fi- how how fair of an assessment that is against against the game you know yeah um sort of like it could just be a um but if you like weird like translation sh- I will say issue this. if you if you like like survival shooter things where you have to like you know mine trees to make charcoal to make copper to make copper ammo for your gun that you built from parts that you scavenge like like if you like like building your base and like all that stuff mm-hmm. um you know and running around open world like shooting crazy weird fucking monsters and shit like it's it's cool <laughs> you know what i mean like it's it's entertaining i will say if you don't like the survival building aspect and i don't i don't just mean building like building like um structures i mean building like that whole thing where like you have to start from like it's like exiles right you have to start from like fucking grass <laughs> yeah you're like I make gra- grass to make twine to make this to make that, and you're like, "Fuck! Yeah. I need ten of these to make four of these to make one of these." Oh like, gosh, if that's yeah. Not your, <laughs> if that's not your bag, then this is not going to be a game you you would like. But you oh, would probably no. already know that. <laughs> yeah, you know. So that is not really my bag. Okay. <laughs> but that is Exiles. If you play Conan Exiles, like that's what Exiles is. Yeah, I know. You that's. Know what I mean? uh... That's why I probably never gotten that far in Exiles. That's right. Every time I turn around, it's like, all right, I'm gonna go do this. Wait a minute, I need to uh, go pick grass for a while. God dang it! <laughs> Hold I, on, I need to go will... knock down a whole row of trees. I need to go mine a billion rocks. I will say the loop is pretty good. Okay. Like the gameplay loop, like it never, it's it hasn't felt like super, like punishing. You know. It says it's made by Starry Studio with a release date for quarter three, 2024. Okay. All right. And as far as I know, yeah, uh, in English and simplified Chinese. So, yeah, I would not be surprised if, yeah, Starry is a uh, 
copyright Netties. Okay, yeah, that's a that's a Chinese studio. That's fine. That's fine. We can get games from China. It's okay. Yeah, but we can't have our games over in China though. No, no, no. It's a, it's only a one way. <laughs> <laughs> My volume still bounces. It's good, but every once in a while it goes down like a quarter almost a half it's weird do i have anything did you did you use um uh software for that because that's the the uh, blue yeti right yeah they might have uh through logitech some uh software that you maybe might have to install that's true hold on i've got a I figured that all out. The Logitech G Hub. G Hub. You're a G Hub. <laughs> You're a G Hub. <laughs> Firmware is up to date. Sure, yeah, sure. Nobody, nobody can find a G Hub. Click here to enable <laughs> Blue <the> Voice. <laughs> Blue voice gives you total control over your mic audio. I hope so. Yeah, my input gain is changing. Uh, is it something like a... Um, uh, what is it? Something is automatically switching my gain. That's what's uh, happening. Echo yeah. cancellation or something? Testing one, two, testing one, two. Nope, did it again, did it again. I'm now seeing it happen in real time. Oh, it's thinking I'm, I'm too loud, and so it's cutting yeah, back it's a noise my gate. gain. Testing one, two, testing one, two. Did that do it? Did that do it? Did that do it? Nope, still doing it. Gosh darn it. Yeah, but you're not changing, though. You're still at a, at a regular level. It's not fluctuating testing one two testing one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen <laughs> we got past the ghoul holy shit seven minutes and yeah one it does sound much, much more balanced take out the next three people yeah i've disabled a couple of things but i could still see my input gain dropping like I said, it's a one thing, and then it just it's it's dropping as I'm as I'm going, which means that if I talk further away, or if I talk closer, it's going to no. Actually, it hasn't changed. It's staying yeah, it's staying about right. You're right. It was doing it doing it basically on its own, which is super fun. Thanks, Windows. <laughs> I did not have this problem before. Well, now you do. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> and we're going to automatically change the volume of your microphone. Whether you like it or not. Testing one, two, testing one, two. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're just going to change your microphone level on you. Because people who record stuff love when that happens. Yeah, a bit, a bit rude. A bit rude, ain't it? Yeah, now the input gain seems to be holding holding steady at about 50. Stand where I normally keep it around like 70, 70, 80, somewhere around there. Oh, now it's, now it's holding put. Okay, I'll keep an eye on it. Pray, pray <laughs> we don't alter your gain further. Yeah, right. Okay, we'll keep it there. We'll keep it there. Hopefully, it'll be okay. Okay, so I may mm, that may that was probably it. Um, right, whatever whatever the new software was, the Logitech software was like, we can make you better by making you worse. We know better than you do. That's right. You're using a you're using this microphone, you peasant. You're using it wrong. You're going to love the way that we do it for you. That's okay. It's okay. Okay, my input is now staying put. So, okay, hopefully I, I, I changed it. 
Oh, oh, I think I know what it was. Okay, I think I know what it's doing. There's there's the input gain, and then there's a master output level. And when the master output level was set to a hundred, which is what it was set to, it started dropping my input gain to match the output level. If I drop the master output level, then it's not automatically changing my gain. Ah! What the fuck? That's how microphones work, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where it just changes your audio levels. Yet podcasters hate this one trick. (laughs) Ah, in real time. Tell us more. Rate your G-Hub experience. I'm going to give you a nice one star there, G-Hub. Thanks. Seems too high. Yeah, (laughs) that's right. (laughs) Can I give it a zero? Can I give you a zero star? No? Yeah. Stop changing my gain. I can control that myself. I'm a big boy. Last time I checked. Anyway. That's not what you said. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to leave it lying, but okay. <laughs> it's in your name. Now I'm like really orange. What the hell is going on here? Oh my gosh. What did you do? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is going to be full of technical nightmares. <laughs> oh my gosh. Turn down the saturation, please. <laughs> Got to turn me into. There you go. I'm black and white. That should work. In my canon, your cat is small, Mikey Ocho. <laughs> furry, furry Mikey Ocho. Oh my gosh, Logitech, why? All right, that should be that should be better. Hopefully, now we can go on to fucking news. All right, news, news, news. I'm gonna be doing some more editing than I usually do. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how hairy you are, so I didn't want to assume. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I would say moderately. Not too bad. The scale is what, from like uh, Mr. Clean to Austin Powers? Basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a, maybe a 70s actor. Somewhere around there. So, oh, anyway, Krampus Knocked has started in the secret world. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Don't believe his we got lies. Help. We got Krampus. We got winter champions. We got the winter cash. We have login rewards. We have fog and mirrors. All back for the season. The uh, winter holidays. And- Part of the login rewards, day 14, you can get a glyph anima imbuer, and day 15 login rewards gives you a resplendent talisman imbuer, which is very nice. Very nice to have. So make sure you log in. Make sure you get those. Make sure you're doing your hourly bosses. Speaking of which, we just missed it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's 10 10. <sighs> I look over. It technically, it's still open. Technically. It's open for another, like, probably 30 seconds or something. Should technically. See if we can jump in. What happens? Go, go, go. What, what, is, what is the login thingies? Yeah, what is this login? Yes. Aha. Now, I saw Vomera had a fun experience where they went into Agartha and they had the the floor of Kingsmith. So cool. Yeah, I saw that uh, post and also went out into the uh, regular Agartha as well. And so, right, the floor of Agartha was basically Kingsmith. Oh, my gosh. So cool. 
All right, there's one. Yeah, there's one on the way. It's going on. Where are we at? Ah, about 75%. Kings was down persisted after I left it, so it was present in Agartha and in the steppes of Niflheim. That is awesome. I was like, obviously a bug, but a very cool bug. I saw that uh, in your photos that you posted uh, that it put like the the center Agarthan tree like where the um fire station is It was a Christmas miracle that you got that Vollmer. Yeah, and Vollmer being uh one to uh also take a lot of screenshots. Took a lot of screenshots. Yeah, take advantage of that. Okay, so right, so we went in, we went into this portal here at the last minute, and there's a hell, and there's plenty of people here fighting, the overflow hell. It was a station on a station. <laughs> we heard you like stations, so we put a station in your station. I'm so happy I got to experience. I have even more screenshot than the twelve I tweeted. I'm sure. I have ten thousand. I was saying, uh, last week we would have tried maybe to have a show because Star Anvil Studio was contacting us, being like, hey, we just did something. Can we come on to talk about it? <laughs> it was like, sure, but it was, I couldn't get anything together, and my system was falling apart, and um, so sadly that did not occur. But um, let's say it's mostly mostly for for news that we will talk about. But uh, so I've set up this entirely new PC, and so all my screenshots, which I saved into a into cloud storage, I went to try transferring them all, and it was like this process will take six and a half hours. I'm like six and a half hours for all my screenshots. Shut the. That is too long. That's what she said? Yes. That's why it's weird. So this new system, it feels like it should be much, much faster. And it's like, eh, in some aspects, it's faster. In others, it's a little slower. I did not lose them. They're all backed up. All the screenshots are backed up nicely. Just transferring them over to the new hard drives. No! Oh, oh no. <sighs> this is a bad day to do this. <laughs> Sorry. Is this because of the uh, Dark Agartha? Mm-hmm. Whatever the... Uh, it's pretty bad today? Yeah. And the, I'm also running the challenge mode, and the challenge mode is bad, too. Challenge mode means bosses deal 30% more damage. <laughs> <laughs> So I have that on top of everything else. It's not what you would call uh, great. Oh no, scratch. We're not in the same instance as uh, as Waffle. <gasps> oh no. I look over and I'm like, where are we? We should be there. We are not. Hanging out with Volmer over here. Joe. So yes, Krampus Knocked is going on. Uh for the foreseeable future. How long does it go? Foreseeable future, so forever. <laughs> yeah, that, that, was, that was a little odd word, man. <laughs> it is going on you know, until it is not. Forever. <laughs> um, just like the winter cash. That's right. It'll, it'll just go on perpetually. For 21 days, starting the 15th, that would be uh, January 5th? January 4th. The end date hasn't been announced, but at least I expect right or until they just turn it off, one or the other. So starting starting December fifteenth, running for twenty one days, because uh, that's at least what the login rewards are for twenty one days. Um, yeah, good stuff. And what makes tonight a special night is that it is now the winter solstice. 
So now it is officially the start of winter. I don't know about you guys, but our winter has so far been not really wintry, but that's fine. It's been nice down here. It's a lot cooler. But right now, Jimmy is working on his randomizer run, but Jimmy completed his free-to-play Elite 17 run. Wanted to go over that a little bit. You went from May 1st to December 17th with a playtime of 862 hours, 37 minutes, 52 seconds, 263 streams across eight months, finishing with an IP of 1709, and clearing at E17 Dark Agartha, Faction Missions, Scenarios, Tank Commander, New York Raid, and a dungeon. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Just a dungeon. How do you, how do you get this um, one, completing I, the run during the E17 New York raid. Run. Amazing. What's that? Right, so I didn't. I didn't feel the need to, um, you know, do all of them. Do all the dungeons? All the dungeons no, no. Mean. You finish one dungeon. Yeah, that's good enough. The important thing is doing all the stuff that actually has up to the E17. Really, the yeah, Dark Agartha. Yeah. Uh, faction missions. Yeah. Absolutely. Fantastic. So what is your, uh, what was your overall takeaway? Um, overall takeaway. Well, it's definitely doable. <laughs> <laughs> right. That, that free to play is like doable. That's, right. That's, that's one thing. Like mm. there's, there's, I feel like it's a fairly short time. Honestly, I, I like, 800 hours? Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, you figure it took me, like, it was over eight months, but you figure I was streamed, like, usually a max of, like, three or four hours a night, and, mm -hmm. and sometimes, like, when I had COVID, less than that. So, like, there were some days where I had, like, an hour, and then there's some weekends where I have, like, you know, maybe, like, five or six or something, but, like, mm -hmm. that's hardly, like, super aggressive gaming. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um... So it's about I, I 200, think, I think, 200 or so nights. I mean, you had yeah, 263 streams. Yeah. But if you're thinking like, you know, an average night of like, you know, maybe three and a half, four hours play, um, like a good, that's good not, session of it. Yeah, that's not to me. That's not super aggressive. Like there's people that spend like way more time, um, you know? Yeah, absolutely. On, yeah. On a daily basis that spend more time than that. So like. I don't mm -hmm. know. I, I like if I like and it was also because I did it on stream only. Like if I wasn't doing it just on stream, I could have put more time in. Like there's other time I could have put in potentially like here and there without mm -hmm. having like set up stream and like set that block of time aside. Um, if I could have popped in for like 20 minutes here or there, I, I could have done that in less months, I guess is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the takeaway I would say like the pros is the community is still there right right and because you couldn't have run all the dungeons especially the the e17 high dungeons without having a community to do it with well I'm, i mean more like the leveling up part like it's it their vets have been around right so finding e17 people isn't that hard mm -hmm. right well real like comparatively speaking whereas like where I would have expected to see more problems is like in the mid, the mid E tiers, right? Because people like leave, or something. Right. Um, you get that burnout at that time. Or, or you just yeah, get like, like, yeah, the the high or... the high tiers is more populated because the players are more you know dedicated or like this is their game, and but also, right I was mid tiers. At a pretty shit time. Like like 9 p.m. EST to like midnight EST is not a great time to be no. playing. <laughs> no. Especially for Secret World. Like it, it's like um, it's it's more heavily EU time-based like population. Mm -hmm. So like I was playing at a very non-peak time and we were still like, and I say we, I mean like the group of players that tended to be around at that time. Um, you know, we were still getting content done like layers and regionals and mega bosses and you know what i mean so like mm -hmm. e even consistently doing that character at like an off time still able to get all the way to the to the end goal you know um 
Right. So yeah, not not only is there a um yeah, even at even at yeah, off off peak time that there is still a community present to be able to yeah, to do like a, group content with. Yeah. A critical mass, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> um I would say the downside is uh multiple player generations of not knowing how to do things okay it's, it's because you have vets that can like speed run people through like e5s right you have e17 people running e5s um so they're just like hard carrying like newer players who just like just straight up never see mechanics like they don't even know what they are uh, there was one dungeon I remember vaguely that like someone thought the the dungeon, and I was like, no, that's that's the mechanic. They'd never seen it before because <laughs> they're always being carried. <laughs> so like that's, that's and then to on top yeah. of that, on top of that, so you have you have lower E level people like actual like E five ish people right being carried by much higher level people, but they're on the next okay. generation of it. There's people that have been carried into like E14, E15 that, okay. that never saw that shit and are now running E5 dungeons carrying other players and they don't know to even if they even if they wanted to tell the new players they don't know the mechanics. You know what I mean? The carried are now carrying mm -hmm. <laughs> without knowing how to properly do stuff. Beautiful. It's a self-fulfilling <laughs> prophecy. <laughs> yeah. Which is like bothersome to someone like me, who's like, you know, what the fuck is this bullshit? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I want people to be doing shit like the right way, you know. And I and I know how to do stuff in the game, right? Like I know I know how to do all the content, mm -hmm. so it's really frustrating. Um, when like you have someone that's like E14, and I'm on a new character, right? So they. They don't maybe don't know who I am or know what I know what I'm talking about, and they try and tell me that um, they've never seen two tanks work on uh, on uh, New like York New York raid. raid. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Okay. They never <laughs> like they they refuse to believe that. They're like, oh, I've never seen that work. That that doesn't work. It's not a thing. And I'm just like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Yeah, like this fight is designed to do that. You're supposed to have to double. Yeah, damage. you're supposed to have. A second tank, it, the, the living flame trick doesn't even work past E5, you numbskull. Like, <laughs> it's so weird. Some people are baffingly dependent on an exploit involving living flame. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's super strange. Um, so that, to me, like, that was probably the most bothersome part of the whole thing, right? Mm-hmm. Um was was like fundamentally that just that just bothers me like i'm i'm i like to you know help people learn how to do things and when people just when there's like multiple layers now of people that just don't know what the fuck they're doing <laughs> and they're okay. only running content below them you know what i mean mm -hmm. like they're only running content that they massively um out geared they're not they're not actually doing content at their level like there's literally there's literally people and I'm not like name people and they're they're nice enough. I'm not saying they're like bad people or anything. Like they they were carried and they weren't taught stuff, so they don't know how to teach it. But there's people like E15 that won't like run anything above like an E8 because they don't know how. Just like sad. Yeah, a little bit. Um. So. I've I've tried to help like where I can, but there's only so much I can do. Um, you know, and, and some people don't. A lot of people don't like being told things either. So that's like a a problem. Yeah, especially general. when they play right. to to at least mid levels like that. They're like, I know the game. Yeah, I know. they're like at that point they've put hundreds of hours in. They just don't actually know what they're fuck they're talking about. Right. Um, <laughs> So that that was like a, a something that I never would have experienced had I not done this run. I never would have known that, right? Because I just don't mm -hmm. run content at those mid tier levels, right? So I would I would never have known that. Um. 
So, okay. Yeah, it's it, it, that 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 part was kind of like mildly depressing. <laughs> <laughs> but the, but like I said, the good part was just the amount of people that, you know, I, I've obviously seen vets. I've seen old vets come back even in that okay. time span. Um, but just getting to know new people that I see like every day, you know, uh, that got to know what the Freeborn character, which I actually kind of feel bad about because <laughs> because um, Cause now it is, it's done. Now I'm not playing the character, you know. Yeah. Now that it's done, so, you're like, all right, um, peace like, out. Thanks for, yeah. So long and thanks for all the fish. Yeah. It's like, oh, well, now I kind of feel like a dick. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, it wasn't like in- intended that way, but. No. Oh, and I found out that the last like bit of grind is way faster than I thought it would be. Um, though super monotonous, way faster than I thought it would be. Hmm. Okay. The um, I mean, it was it? I saw that basically you were running. You said one of the one of the fastest SMT. ways was running scenarios. That's all I was doing. That's all I was doing for like the last yeah. two or three weeks was just literally like SNP, uh, nonstop for four hours, <laughs> like five hours a night. Like that's all I was doing. <laughs> Because your weapons are done and you don't like running dungeons doesn't a doesn't get you as much um, mm-hmm. uh, towards your IP in the same amount of time, and then mm-hmm. um, and then b like um, you you could go you could do a dungeon and get all weapon to slit, which would help with my IP like not at all my weapons were done right because you only have two weapons and you have like what seven talismans. It was like a massive uh, okay difference there. Um, which you know, unfortunate. That so the the other thing, which I think everyone knows, actually, it's like the uh, signets are fucking a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Indeed. They're because there's just no there's no like high tier way to like get like they don't come in anything higher than four k. Unless you use shifters, which you which you can't as a free to play, like that's not something you get. Mm-hmm. That's a patron thing. So, um, all you, yeah. So all you had to do was just um, you had to use whatever was given to you, essentially. Yeah. Whereas, like, if you're if so, uh, a good trick if you're um, if you're a patron, right, is you 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 get your patron chests and you stack your shifters. And make them all um, just signet ones, and then just go mm-hmm. run faction missions and get fucking like seven k signet distance, right? Like you're you'll level your signet really fast, like doing that. But you just can't. You don't have access to that if you're free to play, you know. But that was also part of this run too. Was also proving that even that a free to play character, not even one that came from. Uh, came from the secret world with a whole bunch of stuff and uh, had the lifetime account or something, was completely able to get up to the highest echelon. Yeah. Yeah. That was the goal. Yeah. And it was also really difficult to, like, not take too much help from people. Because <laughs> people, like, want to help. Right. Yeah. And I, like, appreciate that. Um, and some of it's normal. Like, Look, you're going to do group content, right? So, like, you're any free to play player, like, taking the game seriously is going to need to find people to play with if you're trying to get Mm -hmm. to like E17. You're not going to do that without a group, right? If you're just playing PEV content, you'll stop at the end of the story. So, like, there's this, there's like this kind of weird balance going through the run where I'm like trying to make sure that I'm not taking too much from people, right? Um, because I feel like you know that would kind of like invalidate the a little bit the 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 idea of it, which is like that anyone should be able to do that. I still right. feel like even if you didn't, even if you were just solo by yourself, you could eventually do it. It would just take you more hours, right? Yeah. Like you could have even like solo, you could just do S and P by yourself for a fucking eternity. Yeah, you, <laughs> you would just yeah, you would just you, know I mean? you would just like, need to, you, you would just totally go crazy. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. You totally can do it. Um, 
which I'm a very so I'm a very solo player. So that would be basically how I how I would do it. But yeah, uh, and I remember a time basically yeah running running seek and preserve like it was going out of style and just you know after the hundreds of seek and preserves you're just like nope I let let them die it's fine. They don't oh, I didn't know. I think like 500 plus <laughs> SMPs or something. Or maybe it wasn't quite 500. It was like there was a 500 achievement. I think I hit that. If not, I was super close to like the 500 SMPs. Nice. Um, something like that. But I feel like you. But I feel like you have a much much broader uh, um, tolerance for. Oh yeah, I don't mind doing the same thing. Yeah. yeah, repetitively forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The, the um, picking corn comes it comes to mind as an example. I remember. Yeah, that. I'll just do dumb shit for hours on end for no fucking reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it's fun, or at least the idea of it is fun, really. Um, and that's enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good. I was trying to think. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was well, it you, was super interesting. It was super entertaining to do. Uh, it was really fun to try and grind for. Um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like I did a bunch of OD. I, I forget what E level, maybe like four or something, like with Dom, right? And like, and I would recommend that. And I said at the time when I was doing it, I was like, you should do this if you if you're if you're a free to play player, if you find someone. Um, what is this? Okay, I, I broke the mod. Sorry. Oh, no. I don't know what I did, but I broke them on. It's just perma paused. <laughs> Shit. Oh, no. Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe uh, reload UI. Oh, fuck. I know what I did. God damn it. I know what I did. I ran out of room. Oh, it needs a certain amount of room in order to, to, to change around items. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. You need you need inventory space in order to switch items. I need around. no. Well, I need five inventory space. It was on Jimmy's asking for a lot. <laughs> yes. Yeah. True. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a couple switches here because to make up for the time I just spent staring at the fucking screen. I was say, but yeah, moving on. And now that you're uh, talking about it, but you've moved on to a randomizer run. Yeah, so what I'm doing now is in part of the normal randomizer run. This is a side, like, an additional randomizer thing. So, um, yeah, the, so I moved on to randomizer run, which uh, Fox made this mod, and it randomizes your uh, weapons, actives, passives, gadget, sprint, and uh, outfit pieces. <laughs> outfit pieces that's that, that's yeah fantastic and i have it yeah. set for every 30 seconds so every 30 <laughs> seconds outside of combat everything goes and i get like a random outfit random actives and passives random two weapons uh random gadget and and a random sprint <laughs> um like every 30 seconds as i'm like running along um so now on on the new character I started, the, the interesting part there is like it randomizes. So the way so the way it works is it like I made sure I got all nine weapons right on the right. new character like after I got out of the tutorial, um, and I did it on my on on this account that, that is actually linked right. So like I have all the weapons unlocked by default from from TSW, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so the way it works is it grabs two ra two random weapons. And equips them, and then it it makes sure it equips the basic for the main hand, like otherwise, like shit wouldn't work. And it equips one elite ability. Should you have okay. one, or tries it tries to. Um. And then the rest of the actives are just whatever uh, from the pool of those two weapons and passives from the pool of those two weapons. Okay, so at least like at least the passives together. you're getting are like based on the weapon that it currently. Equips. one of the two weapons but but okay. the thing is like because it's random it could give you like the basic say your main hand say you're like um i don't know uh blade elemental right it could give you the uh -huh. basic for blade 
and then all elemental abilities, which would, which would be all offhand, and then it could give you like all sword passives or something, right? Like you just be like, well, this sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. <laughs> um, but the other interesting part is on the new character, right? It doesn't doesn't random unlock. It randomizes everything. Like the okay. pool is everything. So instead, of what the model do is show like uh, what should what it thinks it was going to equip there with like a red X because you don't have it unlocked yet. Okay. So like <laughs> the new character, most of the time I have like one or two abilities, like max. <laughs> I right? was watching. Yeah, I was watching one of your streams, and you're like, you're at one point, you're like, whoa, three abilities. Yeah, I was like, yeah, what, three what abilities. Is this? And then one time I had a passive, and I was like, holy fuck, I have a passive. Yeah, let's go um, as i'm slowly starting to unlock stuff um and that that's really what made me want to do this so this is the other end of the spectrum this is on jimmy this is doing dark agartha mm -hmm. e17 so it's a random thing every day anyways right um mm -hmm. and doing it with the channel where you got the idea and from? with the randomizer and this randomizer obviously i have all the abilities unlocked um right and all the passives and all that stuff right right but like yeah, it's Dark Agartha. It, it it will it will wreck you if you don't have the right counters <laughs> for certain modifiers. Um, e seventeen Dark Agartha. Yeah, well, with challenge mode activated. Yeah, like I purchased the challenge mode, uh, which is like ten k off for the challenge mode. Oof. Um, okay. Yeah, so like I purchased the challenge mode, which makes everything harder. <laughs> um, and and then I go in here and go like, oh, okay. Sure, we'll give this one a shot. <laughs> like, and so what I've been doing is like just waiting, because I can I can just technically like flip ran the randomizer until something semi good comes up. But right. I don't. Know, I kind of feel like that's um a little bit kind of shitty. So like, yeah, I can see that. Um, sort sort of against the spirit of it, I guess. Yeah. So because I've like I defaulted to like a thirty second. Uh, time window essentially um i uh i just wait and dark earth is time so that, that's like a penalty right like if i have to if i have to wait like i might be waiting like two minutes to get a build that works and that's gonna like severely impact my ability to to actually finish to so actually yeah get, get to the end in time yeah exactly but you at least need, as you were saying, like there's somewhere you need an impair. There's somewhere you need a a cleanse. Yeah, I feel like cleanse is the most important thing. If you don't have it, it's like really, really bad. I guess there might be a way to um, maybe alter the mod so that it like forces a cleanse or forces a whatever. But yeah, but that's uh, cheating. I <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say, but I don't know how much borderline cheating that is. Yeah. Um. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not going to do that shit. <laughs> yeah, no. Why would you? <laughs> if I wanted hey, to make Dan. things easy for myself, I wouldn't be doing this. Right, yeah. This needs to be easier. No, no, it doesn't. I've seen you... What was it? During your, during your walking run. <laughs> spend, spend how long just trying to get across, like, one small chasm? Oh yeah, Jumping that across. was <laughs> Like I was like a couple of hours or something. Yeah. All right, we beat the first boss now. <laughs> the second boss is the ghoul, and he's so awful. Oh, this is gonna suck so bad. <laughs> he's got cursed. He's got time loss sickness. He's got enraging. He's got rewind time. He's got wounding, and he has strong survivor. Jeebus. Like, you need, like, multiple cleanses because of Cursed and Time Lost. The longer the fight goes, the harder he hits. <laughs> He's got Strong Survivor. The, oh, the challenge, by the way, today is the bosses deal 30% more damage. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. All right. So he hits like a truck. And because he has Enraging, the longer the fight goes, the more he hits like a truck. Yeah, so, so you know. maybe, not, maybe not the best day. Maybe not the best roll. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no, still trying anyway. As a matter. Yeah. Do I have I have 877 SP and 762 AP to burn? Like I yeah. can I can keep trying uh the solution is turning on Jimmy mode. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 My answer to that. 
<laughs> That's all you need, yeah. Oh, yeah, on top of that, just randomly make it so that you can't even turn left. Yeah, or all I can do is turn left. Right. All left from here on out, guys. No, Jimmy Mode is actually a, a cust- like a custom modifier that one of the devs pro- programmed in. It's on uh, the my Marathon Man character from one of the Cherry streams. And it randomly uh, flips your controls. Uh, or or it can also, instead of just flipping them, so like left is right, and right you know, uh, etc. It can also just make it so like only your back arrow works and it only makes you go left. And all the other directional errors do nothing. Um, which, you know. It was literally literally programmed by one of the devs on like their lunch break or something. And then they, they were like, yeah, was, here you go. Yeah, it was Nervell, just to be clear. Yes, yeah, right. Or it just randomly spawns like enemies around you. Yeah, that's a rare part of it, but it can do that as well. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Christ. To show up, to show up at the best time as possible. Didn't Jimmy get Jimmy mode during one of his challenge runs a few months ago? Um, it was during the charity stream where I already had a directional modifier on, and I someone put on the real one on my uh, on Freeborn on that I was oh, like no. what the fuck is happening because because fox had had a you know programmed his mod for me right that was mm-hmm. um did like a his version of a jimmy mode like a, like a manually coded one right right um, and that also like changed what what your character looked like because it used like photo mode or something for yeah, uh the photo mode yeah i did all like he did all kinds of stuff for that one but <laughs> but at some point i was like what the fuck is happening and I and, and I think maybe it was Vomer who noticed, but like, um, it was they had the icon for the actual Jimmy mode. And I was like, oh, so one of the devs put Jimmy mode on that character while I had Fox's Jimmy mode on at the same time, <laughs> which was not cool. Double Jimmy not mode. Cool. <laughs> ah, good times. But awesome. I was like, glad you got, yeah, glad you got through the free to play run. Uh, amazing. Hell of a commitment, man. Oh, yeah. But, but, but amazing, as you said. Uh, just to reiterate, it went from May 1st to December 17th, just finished four days ago, at a play time of 862 hours, 37 minutes, 52 seconds, across 263 streams, the entire thing streamed, uh, across eight months. Uh, finishing with an IP of 1709 and doing e doing all the, the biggest E17 stuff possible, including the New York raid E17 and Dark Agartha and Tank Commander. Cool. Oh, yeah, there's Fox in the chat. Yeah, Fox is like, I was hey, wondering Fox. what was wrong, wrong with my mod. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't Fox's mod at all. It's like, wait, Fox's mod doesn't put an icon there because the Jimmy mode has its own icon. Or uh, that pops up on your on your bar, yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, amazing. <laughs> so so. Uh, I'll say, so what but, gave but you yeah. the? Um, hmm? mm-hmm. right. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Oh, what gave you the idea to basically start the a randomizer run? Was it because you were doing all the randomizer stuff during the charity stream? Was it because of just the the idea of doing? what you're doing now, essentially uh, dark Agartha, which is already randomized, but more randomized. Um, like a lot of my challenges, it's more like dark souls games inspired, like uh, okay. randomizer runs are pretty popular in dark souls games. Like I've done randomizer runs in Elden ring. Like, um, so that, that's usually what, uh, you know, my, my, my all damage all the time run like the, you know, where I was, drinking hot sauce yes like that was yes, right. inspired by the uh sekiro always poisoned run uh that um uh aggie did so like yeah i, I i'm big into like the soul stuff and uh they mm-hmm. do lots of challenge runs and i'm just like man random randomizer is really cool 
you know. And it's just a really cool concept. It it takes it takes games that you've already played through, which is generally, you know, uh, a you know a straight line from A to B, um, and mixes it all up, and makes it makes a game where you know you've maybe played it a hundred times or whatnot, and makes it fresh again. Like I've seen that a lot for like, um, like old Zelda games, whatnot, like randomizing yeah. everything in a Zelda game or. Um, you know where where you find all the items, but the items are entirely different places, or like a, like Castlevania, like a Castlevania randomizer, or something like that. Yeah, and so why not? Why not? Why not? Why not randomize Secret World? Why not? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'm like a gen- genuinely like enjoying it. By the way, like it's it's the 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 normal run that i'm doing as well as this this insanity like it's actually <laughs> like super fun um you know it's it's incredibly challenging i mean you've, um, you've also proven that the game can be played at like zero ip throughout the entire <laughs> one ip yeah. zero ip throughout the entire thing so you can complete the game with like i don't know just your uh, oh yeah, I mean, I did the offhand only run. Basic, basic fist, or right, just your offhand, yeah. Well, that's probably like the the thing that, like, um, uh, what was it the other night? Like, I soloed Hell Raised. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I soloed Hell Raised with the randomizer. <laughs> like, granted, like it's story mode, right? But like, mm-hmm. still, when you have like random actives and passives. And you're like trying to solo a fucking dungeon, like that mm-hmm. shit is difficult. Yeah, <laughs> I spent. I was up way too late. Yeah, like I was you up till like one thirty in the morning or something. A lot, but as long as you persevere, you could do it. Yeah, it was. It, <laughs> well, you know what it was? It was it was Hellraiser uh, boss five because of those ads. Mm-hmm. There's so many ads in like the last phase. That shit is no joke. Amazing. All right, I'm like mildly uh, focused on uh, this dumb shit I'm doing. <laughs> it's just fucking fire everywhere. I'll say, well, we can, we can move on a bit to other news, uh, including that Star Anvil Studios, as I said before, we you know, they wanted to come on the show uh, last week, but my PC was down and having family issues and and what have you. Um, so wasn't able to do that, but I did want to put out their updates. Uh, November 22nd, posted by Ro- uh, Ross Watson, the core rulebook feedback PDF was sent to all backers. So a rulebook that was um, essentially layout with, uh, with all the layout and all the pages and whatnot, and you could... Uh, you know, a, a, an index, which was helpful, as opposed to last time, which did not have an index. Um, he posted the Secret World Core Rulebook feedback PDF is ready to send out to you guys. Just like when we send out the raw PDF, you may get an email with a drive through RPG link. If not, then go to your drive through RPG account and look for the Secret World PDF and download the updated file that way. The initial layout is complete with art and a working hyperlinked table of contents as well. There are a number of tabs on the right of each spread that will take you directly to the other chapters. Uh, so a more refined version than we got besides just the straight, <laughs> the straight text. Raw PDF. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> uh, this, yeah, the straight text was, was harsh. <laughs> we tried. We tried, though. We still got a lot of fun stuff out of it, but we tried. Uh, but now we have a layout. Um that he posted in November, whereas his December update, they say, uh, but feedback for the PDF is now closed. Um, we're very grateful to all of you who contributed feedback and pointed out errors in the PDF manuscript. Hopefully, Vomer got in a whole bunch of stuff. I know Vomer was, was keeping very good track of that. Uh, we're going to be organizing all of that info and making corrections ASAP. All of us here at Star Animal Studios are very grateful for your help in making the book even better. 
So what happens now? First, we need to get the PDF into its final form by inputting all the corrections. Second, we send everything off for final approval for Funcom. Third, once we have an approval print ready PDF, Star Anvil Studios will order a proof copy from DriveThruRPG and inspect it to make sure it meets our standards. And then we can hit the button and deliver everyone the final PDFs. Stay tuned. We plan on having another update near the end of December, so keep your eyes open for more info coming soon. Thank you all again for your patience and passion for the Secret World RPG. Yo, yeah, ton still unsubmitted. Yeah, well. I uh, wasn't able to get more than a little bit of my feedback due to the short time frame. It was a very short time frame. Um, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Just understand it's it's... It's inspired by the secret world. It won't be perfect. And as we've said before, totally, uh, if you're the one who's DMing, you can change that. You can, you can change whatever you want about it. You can, you can have your own homebrew set. You can have your own whatever. Understand. That's fine. <laughs> that's the way, that's the way tabletop works. How is this possible? I made it to the fourth guy with all my lives intact. Wow! But I only have ten. I only have ten seconds left. Oh well. <laughs> <sighs> this is my record, by the way. My record is getting to the fourth. The fourth boss. That's what I did on the first. The first uh, day attempting this as well. Okay, but you the got there. Boss. That's what counts. Good job. Good job getting a getting a personal best. Ugh. But and now this is uh, moving into the next part of the part of the news where they said that part of their next steps will be we send everything off to final for a final approval from Funcom. Well, guess who works for Funcom again? That's right. Yeah. Our neighborhood Scrivnomancer posted on Twitter. Uh, Joshua Allen Deach was rehired by Funcom uh, to work on Dune Awakening. Um, he posted. On November 28th, a picture of himself photoshopped with fully blue eyes and the text, The Lore Must Flow, <laughs> alongside, uh, Hello, sweetlings. Guess who's back at the Funcom office? Hell yeah. So, Scriv is back at Funcom, uh, ostensibly to work on Dune Awakening. Probably also Conan Exiles, and maybe if they, you know, if they send off the uh send off the um uh this this print ready pdf back to funcom for approval they might just be like hey scriv here you go because scriv did a lot on working on the uh the tabletop to begin with yep yep yeah there's a lot of uh he, he touched a lot of things in there that's right but Scriv, I don't I like your implications, sir. <laughs> <laughs> in my in my opinion, Scriv can touch whatever he wants. He is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he is he is quite brilliant, and that's why I was sort of like I was not upset. I wasn't like, but I was I was disappointed. Um, yeah. Do, do you approve? Do you approve what someone else paid you to write? Yes. All right. <laughs> Might, might be a conflict of interest. Maybe. Maybe. Um, but when he was initially tapped by Amazon Studios to write their Lord of the Rings game that they were making, and then, like, it, my, just my mind was just blown by the concept of a Lord of the Rings and Scrivenomancer com combined. Just... To me, that feels so good. Yeah, like yes, give give me Tolkien's world, but also make make it <laughs> cosmic horror. That sounds great to me. I'm fine with that. It's the best of both worlds. Yeah, you got you got your peanut butter. You got your chocolate. Do this. Um, but then Amazon Game Studios let him go, and said they weren't going to do the Lord of the Rings game anymore, and now they're back to doing the Lord of the Rings game or something. Oh really? Are they? Oh, are they? I think their main focus is still on New World, but um 
May 15th. Amazon Games and Embracer Group's Middle Earth Enterprises strike deal for new Lord of the Rings game. Yeah, so it was more than um us uh, through Embracer. It was like it was like they're like they let him go because right there was a conflict of rights and they let him go and then they were like, "Oh, hey, we're doing it again," but didn't hire him back. Yeah, but is it uh Embracer going through a lot of uh, troubles with money and actually closing out a lot of studios? Oh, is that what they're doing now? Probably. Yeah. Um, there's one game. Was it Time Splitters Two? That studio was just like, yeah, we're we're closed. It's no longer in production. Uh, as of December fourteenth, twenty twenty three, Embracer Group has laid off approximately a thousand people in the second half of twenty twenty three. Layoffs are part of the company's restructuring process are intended to help reduce its $1.3 billion in debt. Holy crap. All right. I mean, that's... Mm. <laughs> that's... As of December 14th, 2023, more layoffs are expected in 2024. Yay. The layoffs will continue until morale improves. <laughs> until, right. We're just going to keep <laughs> letting go, people. Why? You don't, you don't need staff. Um... Right, and they they hold yeah, Lord of the Rings rights holder. We don't need staff. We got AI. Oh, gross! <laughs> Gaming conglomerate Embracer laid off 900 people as net sales rise. More cuts to come. Company is undergoing a massive restructure after rapid expansion and a failed two billion dollar deal. Someone. Uh... Embracer expects to continue to reduce its headcount via ongoing restructuring, closures, or buyouts. Massive cuts have already been made at Time Splitters developer Free Radical Design, Star Trek Online's Cryptic Studios, Tomb Raider developer Crystal Dynamics, and Myth Force studio, studio Beamdog, as well as full studio closures at Saints Row developer Volition, which just celebrated its 30th anniversary, and newly established Campfire Cabal, among others. Borderlands developer Gearbox Entertainment is just one of Embracer Studios that's reportedly up for sale. Yes, they wait. Who? What? How? How many groups? How many does Embracer own? A lot. Yeah. Right. One of these. They pretty much companies. went through like all these small little companies and just bought them out. The Embracer Group. What do you got? What do you got? Tell me, Wikipedia. What are all the studios? Uh, nope, that's way too many to go over. <laughs> oh, there's, yeah, among the subsidiaries, uh, THQ Nordic, Plyon, uh, let's go over to the big ones, Saber Interactive, Gearbox, Asmodee, uh, Dark Horse Media, Gross, gross. And, and always find it funny gross. is that people were so complaining about the Microsoft uh, Activision Blizzard merger or right. acquisition, but it's like you got Embracer that has that much larger, <laughs> and they're just continuing to. I will buy more companies, and no one's like, "Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine." But Microsoft Activision Blizzard, no, we can't have that. Right, yeah, and it's like they're much giant. I mean, Funcom is now owned by what Tencent, and Tencent's another one of those mm -hmm. gigantic. Tencent's another, yeah, conglomerate owning half the world. Oh, we're late again. Oh no, we are the worst. Why is no you guys in chat are not telling us what's going on? <laughs> People are already coming out as you run in. Blame the chat. Yeah, <laughs> it's chess. You know where chat went to fight they're, hell. Yeah, they're right. already in there. <laughs> Let's see what's the chat. Oh nope, we found a we found a, a perfectly clear one. <laughs> or at least I did. Um, are you there? Yeah, oh. you did too. Yeah, I see two people on the platform over there. <laughs> well, this could hurt. We got this. I'm writing jokes. Can't multitask. I feel that. 
Um, but yeah, good to, good to have Scrivenomancer back in the Funcom offices, which means that uh, Dune Awakening expect good stuff. Good stuff from. Well, they've already been doing their uh, closed beta. Well, was uh, it the first one's already finished. Yeah, first one uh, is the beginning of December. Close. Oh, well. Um, yeah, and, and right. I think they're getting started on the second one here shortly. Yes, Funcom's Dune Awakening is writing another closed beta uh, for early 2024. And I believe they've already, I don't know, I don't know if they've already sent out stuff for that one, but they've, uh, Tasha has hinted a bit. But hey, now I got this new system. I might actually be able to play it, which is sort of exciting. <laughs> Hourly Hell Boss. We've now got the uh, other oh, scratch. I see scratch in here. Probably came after the first one. That's what she said. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> All right, we're starting to get starting to get more in here. Yeah, Volmer, you never know. You might get that email. But of course, you can't tell anybody if you did or not. Right, if you did, you can't tell anybody. That's why I sort of like don't want it because it's, I know, it's that juxtaposition where it's like, yes, I do, but no, I don't. Yeah, but if I, but if I don't, I can still talk about it. Um, Offline. <laughs> Or I can still talk about it in the way of like, yeah, I don't actually know what's going on. All I know is stuff is happening. Instead yeah, of you can't like, really give I specifics. I don't, I, you know, I can tell you, but I can't, you know, <laughs> play that coy, whatever. I can tell you there's sand. <laughs> there might be worms. <laughs> I hope I hope that the ornithopters are fun to fly at least. Hopefully. I'm expecting it to be a lot like is it a lot like Coded Exiles in a way. But they say more MMO, so more and they keep using the phrase too. They keep using MMO, so but who knows to what level of MMO is it gonna be? Yeah, I don't want it something where it's like, you know, quick travel. Oh well, yeah, you get into the ornithopter, but you don't really fly it per se. Oh, that's you get in and you exit you at the new location. Is... You butchered that somehow. What ornithopter? <laughs> I think you're bringing another R in there that does not there. Rorna, Rorna, ornithopter. Thropter. Yeah, they putting. I think you were saying thropter. Uh, you thropter, you broader. <laughs> Ornithropter? I don't even know her. Ornithropter? Damn near wrecked him. <laughs> wow, that was awful. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, only the only the highest of content here. All right, this hell's down to about fifty percent. Not bad. Again, the overflow. Being able to complete multiple hells. Always a good sign. Hey, Ren. It really does make you think sometimes about, like, you know, people are like, oh, the game is... Or, like, you start seeing people complain, like, oh, um, the single-player games. Well, they're like, well, the population, you know, of the single-player games is not great. And it's like, but it's a single-player game. Who cares? Right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, there's only one person that can play. Right. Oh, oh there's there's not so many people playing this single player game. It's a single player game. 
But that's not the thing. And we understand that MMOs need to have a critical mass of players in order to enjoy them, in order to, or at least to get more out of them, let's say. Not even to just enjoy them, to get more out of them. And, um, like, you know, a, a, a bigger functioning economy or, or what have you. But um, when it comes to, as you proved with your, with your free-to-play E17 run, you can't do that alone necessarily, or you can, but uh, it takes significantly longer to do so when you do not have the community to run dungeons with. Yeah. And that community is still here. So, you know, when people are like, oh, that game, it's it's dead. There's still more than enough players here to get stuff accomplished. And so it makes you makes you wonder, like, what is that? What is that critical mass of players that you actually need? And why does it feel like it is so conflated and why does it feel like it is so um, people demand it to be higher than it actually needs to be? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Cause even if you think about like, you know um, how many, how many people around you truly do you need for a game to feel quote unquote full, you know, like how many people do you need around you? Is it like 30, 40, and that's something that you're never really going to get a, a straight answer on. No. And it, and it depends on the game, too. Sometimes it's like you'll only encounter maybe 10, 15 people, and that's still enough to even make it feel full. Like, it's truly the thought of, well, how many people, yeah, do you, uh, do you honestly need around you to give the impression that a game is full and and or healthy? What what is What is that actual critical mass... Which to the developers is going to be one number. To the developers is going to be a, you know a figure of you know how much money is incoming and this and that and how many people are buying and blah 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 blah. But to the actual player themselves, that would be an entirely different number. Why did I get a fright fri uh, fright flare for Christmas? <laughs> I just opened my bag. It's scary, that, man. Yeah, it's scary. It's like, oh, here's I have another one. Ooh, scary. <laughs> <laughs> getting getting Halloween flares. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dan's in the game with us. Hey, Dan. Dan Van Dam, good friend. Dan Van Dam. Hey, Rin. Uh, Rin has appeared in Jimmy's stream. What? What? It's right there. Don't look. <laughs> I still didn't get it in pair. Last one. I'm on Gatekeeper, by the way. <laughs> no, wow. Okay. And well, yeah, you kind of, kind of need that. For Gatekeeper, otherwise, yeah, it's a little, little tricky. Have a rainbow. Oh, that was bad. I shouldn't have done that. Fuck. Fuck. Have a fuck, crochet fuck, fuck, fuck. mohawk beanie brown. <laughs> Dual streams. Hey, Rin. I've got both. Yeah, I've got both uh, Jimmy's and uh, ZPR's open. Chat's open over here. Why not? Uh, moving on in news, because why not? Um... Metal Hellsinger, uh, Leviathan and Purgatory, free updates and paid DLC launched on December 7th for Metal Hellsinger. Uh, Leviathan is a free update with a new Horde game mode. What the hell? Ooh. Hmm? We just, just got... got... What is this? Uh... Glamour, touch of shady, sparklers, uh, twenty. <laughs> okay, what? In the Thank hell? you, devs. Much appreciated. Uh, we just all got uh, in my inventory. I now have five uh, zombie grim glamours, a twenty stack of Crowley's crunchies, and five touch of shady. Well, Which, I think everybody uh, got something different because I got. Uh, five glamours, but it's the okay. 
uh, Zybalbun, Vine Groot, uh, Vine Fruit Gummies, and Sparklers. Nice. (laughs) Touch of Shady, duration 20 minutes, Trail of Darkness, this minor glamour makes it seem as if filth follows your every move every uh, move for a time which is what Crowley's Crunchies does so not only did I get some Crowley's Crunchies I also got a second glamour I didn't forsake you scratch I'm right there I've always been there scratch got mummies on that second set of footprints on the sand (laughs) Is when I left to get some tacos. Vomer got uh, mummies as well, pinch of blood, and vine fruit gummies. Excellent. <laughs> we got random Halloweeny stuff. It's what happens when you shoot off ghosts into the air during a. During I guess it's all the stuff that's been season. left around since October. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Uh, but yes, new update for Metal Hellsinger, uh, a free update and a paid DLC. The paid DLC has through three new original songs, three new skins, Obsidian, Chromatica, and Amethyst, and a new weapon. Uh, a very fun game, Metal Hellsinger. That's it, basically. It's just, it's just really fun. It's just a fun game. It is a fun game, really. <laughs> you can spend like an hour or two playing it. And no problem. Even if you're not into uh, metal, which I'm not really a, a, a big metal fan, necessarily. Even if you're not into metal, still quite, it's still quite fun to play. Oh, yeah. Um, they, really, they really hit on something with it. <clears throat> <laughs> on Conan Exiles. <laughs> what? 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 I made it to Gatekeeper and I just ran out of time. Ah. Uh, you'll get it. That was winnable too. I fucked up an impair. That was that winnable. That's sad. Uh, Sorry, moving on Conan Exiles, <laughs> Age of War Chapter 3 is now live. It just launched December 19th. Age of War Chapter 3 uh, has a new battle pass with dozens of new rewards and new bizarre rotations to be read as bizarre like the uh, storefront, not bizarre like, man, these, these rotations are, are... That's whack. That's the jokes. That's the jokes, folks. <laughs> that's, that's what I got. Uh... <laughs> But the the new um, the new Age of War Chapter Three comes with a whole bunch of stuff, including being able to make your own tavern um, and tavern tavernish stuff. Getting patrons, being able to uh, instead of just going out and getting your thralls by breaking them on your wheel of pain, instead you could just hire them from your bar. Yeah, that bar shit <clears throat> looked pretty cool. Yeah. I think I watched that stream. Uh, so you could, yeah, build yourself a bar inside your base and then get people to chill out in your bar. And Sounds fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. That's an Age of War Chapter 3 just launched for Conan Exiles. Check it out. So I should really, I should really, ch- I, even though, uh, even though Conan Exiles is the, you know, collect stuff, build stuff, you know, work with fiddly stuff, <laughs> um, which isn't necessarily for me, but is for a lot of people, which is fantastic. But I keep trying anyway. I keep trying. One of the, one of the first games I downloaded was Conan Exiles onto this new machine just to, just to have it. Because I keep wanting to really like it. I keep wanting to really play it. And I figure out eventually I might hit that point where it's like, yes, I get it now. But who knows? It might happen. It might not happen. Um, I'll keep trying. And finally, 
This news, breaking news, breaking, 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 breaking news. news. Uh, just today, it was announced. Allison Smith announced the reboot of the Black Watchmen franchise. Where's my goddamn item? Is what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Which item? Like a jacket? Uh, or... It was like a. There's yeah. There's one that's never been getting out. Been given out that people were supposed to get. Really? It's not just me. Like everyone that did that never got the item. Which one? The uh, trench coat? No, I think we got trench coat. Yeah, I got the trench coat. Uh, I don't remember. I've got a bunch of them too, well, but there's one that's never given out. The backpack from Nineteen. Bomber should know. Bomber should know which one I'm talking about. There's one that was never given out. The Night Team 4 military backpack is supposedly for the crossover mission Night Team 4 never made. Yeah, but I funded the fucking thing and was supposed to get the backpack. <laughs> so where the fuck is my backpack? That's what I'm saying. That's a good question. It's a good question. I don't care if you get... The item's there. I think they, uh, Funcom was never given permission to release it. I funded that shit. What the fuck? Oh, it's back on Allison Smith now. Where's our Please. mission? Allison Smith, release the backpack. The Snyder cut. <laughs> the, the Black Watchman cut. Allison Smith cut. Um, yeah, I, I didn't give a today. shit about the actual ARG. I just wanted my item. That's why I funded it. Give me my item, you fucker. <laughs> but they posted earlier today, 2024.blackwatchman.com. To all our Black Watchman players out there, a decade has passed. And now it's a perfect moment to reassemble the original crew and announce the reboot of the Black Watchmen franchise. Starting in 2007 as a grassroots ARG on Unfiction and later integrated into the secret world before finally becoming its own PRPG with the creation of Allison Smith. We are excited to envision what an ARG can be in 2024 with all the new tools at our disposal. As an initial did this interactive sandbox which will be regularly updated with assorted puzzles and experiments. A4! Exclamation point. Uh, Barbara says, I helped solve the announcement reveal mini ARG for the Black Watchmen that popped up a few days ago. I did not even know that happened. It better not be just doing it on just Twitter. They should move other places but, too. But it makes sense to have a... But it makes sense to have a mini ARG for announcing the Black Watchmen. I mean, it makes it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I heard that yeah, like what surprised me. Nobody heard anything except for Vollmer. No. Vollmer knows everything though. Vollmer is Vollmer is uh, truly on the pulse. Vollmer knows all, sees all. Um, but what surprised me was that uh, for No Man's Sky, that uh, Allison Smith did the ARG leading up to the launch of No Man's Sky. It was like, oh, I. that's really fun. They tweeted ominously and then had a Twitch stream show up that then revealed things. Right? Also the Bloodlines Tender ARG, right? Same with the yeah, No Man's Sky one surprised me. I was like, there was because there was such other stuff when No Man's Sky launched that I guess the fact that there was an ARG was sort of overshadowed. Yes, the, the Tender ARG, yes, which Scriv... Scriv wrote for, and now Scriv is back at Funcom, and all is well in the world. Yeah, almost certainly they will they will shove the uh, the tabletop RPG into Scriv's hand and be like, here, <laughs> do something. Yeah, here, here, just check it out. Make sure it's okay. <clears throat> I can't really think of anyone better though, unless there is some real uh, someone at uh, Funcom that we do not know about that is a tabletop RPG expert as well as a secret world lore expert. Everyone's like, why are mummies hanging around here? <laughs> I don't know. Why are we, why are we receiving spooky stuff? <laughs> spooky flares. It's all to cash weekend. Or a nightmare before Christmas. I mean, what is it? The, uh, um, the it's the most wonderful time of the year song does say scary ghost stories i think scary ghost stories at christmas oh well, yeah what do you think uh 
um, Christmas Carol is. It's a scary ghost story. That's fair. But usually, uh, the winter solstice is the darkest time of the year, and so usually in a lot of cultures, it is the spookiest time of the year. And that's the time to tell the ghost stories is when it's cold and dark and... The night is full of terrors. Mm Mm-hmm. But then it's also lots of, you know, when it's darkest is when we bring out all the lights and when we bring out all the the stuff to, to, to put the darkness at bay, if you will. (laughs) <laughs> too spooky for me. Spooky time. <laughs> That's why, yes, it is also a spooky time. You can have spookiness. You can have spookiness at the holidays. It's fine. It's fine. That's a very global North centric reading. Well, indeed, yes, because here in here in the North, it is cold. I'm not talking about Australia, who's you know middle of summer. Yeah, it's always weird. It's, it's like there. yeah, they have Christmas time, but it's South in America the middle of summer. Yeah. Like the Southern Hemisphere is always going to be hot. Our summer, right. Yeah. It is, a, yeah, I do not deny. It is a very global North centric reading. <laughs> it absolutely is. Very, very European. Not, not really, yeah. South America, uh, Africa, Australia. Yeah, currently going through summer. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine. It's all good. But here we are going through the winter solstice. Here we are at the the cold period. And so, to go over, to reiterate, uh, Krampusnacht currently going on in the secret world, December 15th through January 4th, 5th, until they turn it off, really. Um, Going on for 21 days. Uh, Jimmy completed his free-to-play Elite 17 run. Amazing. Amazing. And has started a randomizer run. Currently you? currently playing Dark Agarth the randomized on his uh, primary E17 character. Yeah, just since just I because, because Jimmy, why I'm not? Like... What's that? It's actually been a minute since I played on... Uh... Played on my main character, yeah. you know? Well, you did take yeah, 862 hours on your free-to-play character, so... Right. <laughs> um, what are you trying to say? <laughs> trying to say that might, you know, take a bit of time, you know. Uh, Star Anvil released a couple of updates, uh, putting the core rulebook feedback PDF into our hands, as well as saying that um, they're now sending everything off to Funcom for approval and to stay tuned for another update near the end of December. Um, Dune Awakening, uh, Scrivenomancer was once more rehired by Funcom uh, to work on Dune Awakening, which is, again, amazing. Uh, Metal Hellsinger released a free update and paid DLC. Conan Exiles Age of War Chapter 3 launched. And as we said, the Black Watchman has announced a reboot to the Black Watchman franchise. That's all the news that I could find in and among the Secret World. Secret World um, adjacent. Secret, yeah, Secret World and Secret World adjacent. Which is pretty good. It's a pretty good amount. Yeah, especially this time of year. Yeah. Nothing really. Well, we, usually, we always have the, the holiday uh, event going on, but anything else? No. Kind of uh, dies down. As it generally does around the holidays. Yeah. Well, that's a good. That's a good amount. They're just putting everything out and being like, all right, now we get to chill as didn't do nothing for January. <laughs> we'll see you next year. <laughs> it's like the meme Vomer shared earlier. You wouldn't work on a task. Or uh 
<laughs> for the uh, the end of the holiday season. <laughs> Up into the new year. I mean, I, I would, yeah. <laughs> oh no, I have no good consumer here. This is dumb. <laughs> Shit. Wah, wah, Basics wah. all the way. It's a heel basic. It doesn't help me. <laughs> Even worse. <clears throat> so cursed. So cursed. And even Anishel posted uh, six hours ago, love to all friends, family, and the incredible community that has supported the Black Watchmen over the years. Welcome to Catherine's final puzzle. one 855 716 Gotta Gotta love what they give phone numbers. Oh, is that what that is? That's what it sounds I like. would assume. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm like not processing, I guess, the number correctly. <laughs> it's okay. Didn't even occur to me. <laughs> so that was one of the, that was one of the missions in uh, TSW, at least that uh, that that really blew my mind. I mean, a lot of the a lot of the uh, investigations when you first go through them were pretty mind blowing, but that was the one that really blew my mind was. Um, the one for uh, Doctor Alighieri. I'm not sure it's in 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 SWL. I don't think so. No, um, it's not. Oh. You're talking about the Frankenstein's one. Yes, right? the one where you're like, you you got like a card, and on the card was a phone number. Yeah, and you went went around the game world searching for phones, and I'm like, okay, so this phone, no, can't use this phone. Uh, there's phones in like Kingsmith. Go to Kingsmith. Nope, can't use those phones. Uh, where am I going to find a phone? And it's like, wait. In your house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait. It's coming wait, from within the house. Wait. They want me to actually make a freaking phone call? Uh, you were the one who realized, oh, this must be a phone number when we found a bunch of numbers. Very nice. I say, well, without the dashes, you'd be like, no, that's just a string of numbers. <laughs> With the dashes, that's a phone number. Because our brains are weird like that. Hardwired to remember chunks of numbers in threes and fours. It wasn't properly ordered. There you go. You're like, it's just a string of 11 numbers. You're like, 11 numbers. It's a phone number right there. Give me a good build, you piece of crap. <laughs> but what's the fun of that? Well, this doesn't work. I don't have it in pair. <laughs> I have the time left if I get a decent build. Wait, wait. I do have an impair. What the fuck am I talking about? Oh, but I... I don't have a basic attack. I have a heal basic again. Oh, no. That's bad. Nah, this... I need to wait for a build. This is this is not good. This... I don't think is good either. Wait, is Elder Nothing's Scourge good. an impair? It's all terrible. Elder Scourge isn't an impair, huh? Fuck. Which one? Which ability? Wait, that's an impair. Um, um, fuck. Well, I guess we try. Why not? So, yeah, good times. Good times. Yeah, I'm just point. happy I've got a I've got a got a new and working PC. Can play once more play these games at 60 frames a second, which is nice. Without having it explode. Uh technology's great. That's right. Of course you ask any of the, you know. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> Waffle, put some clothes on. Huh. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> but it's nipple ham. Showed up nude. It's nipple ham. Um, what was it saying? Oh, that's right. Yeah, I can't be able to play it. Being able to play at 60 frames again. It's very nice. But yeah, asking anyone else, and they're like, uh, we've got 120 hertz monitors now. We've got, like, shut up, I'm playing at 60. <laughs> to me, that's amazing. 
It's an accomplishment. Yeah, Rafim, you're right. It's artistic nudity. <laughs> Someone had to click on a link saying that this was an adult stream, right? <laughs> yeah, I got all the tags selected. Yeah, it's fine. Actually, you don't have to do that for the video game. It's only for yourself. I mean, yeah, like you don't have to do like the artistic whatever. Like as long as you're like, um, like marked your your video game is not for kids or whatever. Like that's all you have to do. Well, it's automatically yeah. set up for mature when you select. The that's game. what I mean. Like it's not, but there's other tags you have to use specifically if you're doing some other. Stuff. Oh, it's like smoking, drug use, uh, offensive language. You didn't click anything special. Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, it doesn't care. Yes, yeah, Twitch. They're fine. It's fine. No, you gotta put in your credit card number and your driver's license number. Then your social. And also add in your um, high school mascot. Ooh, that's first, a good one. Yeah, your first mm -hmm. pet's name. The street you grew up on. Yep. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> ha, it's a fun quiz. Of the concept of that let's post these fun quizzes on facebook they say yeah what's what street did i grow up on what was my first pet's name <laughs> i'm gonna answer those truthfully well yeah what was the first car you drove <laughs> uh <laughs> your mama Social engineering at its finest. All right. Well, that what did we not got work how you thought it would? 15 minutes until the next, or 15 and uh, plus three. Um, till the next hell. I'm in hell around. right now. <laughs> <sighs> I got to the end with like what should have been a May contain time. drugs just intoxication, RNG excessive tobacco screwed. use. Screwed. Oh, oh no. Drugs, intoxication, excessive tobacco use, gambling, mature rated games, significant fan near vulgarity, sexual themes, violence, and graphic depictions. Otherwise known as a uh, typical Thursday. Yeah, a good time. Yeah. <laughs> it's like my wife was handed at work. Um, somebody handed her. They were like, they're like, you like, you like to drink, right? And she's like, uh, sure. Why not? <laughs> okay. And they handed her. They're like, here. And they handed her basically a bottle of that said vodka and it is not vodka ah. but was essentially a fruit infused rum that they okay. just poured into open liquor bottles i'm like ah good old good good old worker hooch <laughs> worker hooch <laughs> Best kind of hooch. Coco worker hooch. So we got it. Yeah, we we tried some last night. It's just like it's like, oh, they say this is, is pretty, you know, that uh you could really you could really have this. And it's like, no, this is like eighty proof. <laughs> like this is not a necessarily a sipping or not a Did uh, you say eighty proof isn't sipping? Come on now. Yeah, listen, it's been a while. <laughs> not for me now. I'm not sipping. I don't mean sipping. I mean like chugging. It is definitely for sipping. You could do sipping. It has been a while though. Okay, first boss down. I'm running around. You only scratch. lost one life. <laughs> not bad. Ooh. Not bad. Yeah, boil it down. Only 40? Oh, 
Oh, I don't think I have an impair. Shit. Well, like they literally just took alcohol and just it. Let's put some fruit in it and let it sit for a while. You're like, that's a fine, that's a fine Christmas present. So there's a trick on Dark Agartha, by the way. If you buy the gravity spores, it means you don't mm -hmm. die when you fall off a ledge. So if you think you're going to die on a boss, you can just jump off the ledge and it'll put you back without you losing a life. There you go. It's just, it's just a thing. A thing you can do. And then the bosses don't come back with full health, but they do gain back a percentage of their health. So it's it's not like... You can't game it super hard, but you can at least not lose one of your limited lives, right? We got time I'm getting in on this snowball fight. Get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're learning. I ever had 192 proof alcohol before? Uh, I've had 151, and I've got some. I've had some uh, um, moonshine that tasted a lot. That was uh, excessively strong, but I'm not sure what that was. Fuck me! In our time, I've had Everclear. I think that might be what Rin's talking about. In fact, I made Everclear lemon jello shots. <laughs> and the good Everclear. The Everclear from like uh Oklahoma. <laughs> I can't, what makes I what can't, makes Oklahoma uh, Everclear better? Uh the, California has a limit on how high the proof can be. So the Everclear you buy in California, because I used to live in California, is not the highest Everclear proof you can get. Oh, uh, okay. Right, so you go you go to a different state. So the I think Rafam, I think New York or Oklahoma doesn't matter. Like they don't they don't have limits on it. You know what I mean? Whereas CA has like a like a max proof you can sell. But we we brought back Everclear from from Oklahoma to California, and we had, we had this we had this one kid like do a shot it was just clear liquor he thought it was vodka and he's like what the fuck was that <laughs> and then he freaked out when we told him it was ever clear like he got like <laughs> really badly freaked out it's like oh my god i'm gonna die like, you're not gonna fucking die shut up you're like no you might go blind but you're not gonna die oh yeah i mean okay so I've had like literally gasoline before, uh, so I don't know. Like Everclear is like Everclear's like whatever. I mean, to be fair, I probably have had it. I just probably didn't realize I was having it. I'm pretty sure we've covered this on different streams, Bomber. Like, I, I had like an alcohol bottle collection. And then at some point we ran out of gas and I used some of the bigger vodka jugs to like put gasoline in and take to the car. And then I kind of forgot. And like some point later we, we ran out of booze. And so we took the entire bottle collection down and siphoned all the little drips that were left into one big, <laughs> one big jar of like gray awful sludge, uh, like every every alcohol you can think of, there was a bottle up there, and it had like just little remnants of it. <laughs> so it actually ended up making like a fairly decent like amount when it was all said and done. We had a lot of bottles, and some of those bottles had gasoline residue in them instead of alcohol residue. So, uh, not to mention like months old fucking Bailey's. That shit had curdled. I'm Ugh. sure. Was, but yeah, the whole thing was gray. Oh. It was like every literally every liquor you can possibly think of would was a bottle of that was you know probably up on the wall like an empty bottle, 
So it had like mm-hmm. a little bit left in it. So yeah. <laughs> so we, we we took all the bottles down, recycled the bottles for money to buy more booze, and then we but before we did that, we we drank the the corn. We called them the corners, the corners of it all. <laughs> and, that, and we took shots of that shit. That shit was like you know, crazy, <laughs> dude. I am not getting a good bill for this fucking boss. This this run is fucked already. I should probably just start over. Good times. Yeah, it sucks. Oh, I can't even jump off to die because I have the gravity spores. <laughs> Normally, I reset by jumping off. <laughs> oh, I guess slash reset takes a life. But yeah, I was like, 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 literally, like you know, uh, tequila, vodka, whiskey, uh, the Jack Jameson, fucking ninety nine bananas, <laughs> like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like ev- ev- um, uh, Jaeger, Rumple, was it Rumble Mints? I think. Um, oh gosh, oh, I remember that stuff. Ev- every every liquor you could probably think of, like there had been at least one, if not multiple bottles, because we used to just save all the bottles. Mm-hmm. Not just like one of each, but like just all the bottles. <laughs> uh, we did that in college where we took the bottles and then uh, filled them with like highlighter fluid. Not like pure, okay. but like well, like watered down highlighter fluid. And then uh, under black light, they glowed. That's cool. So we did a thing with like, yeah, we take the bottles, we put in like highlighter fluid, and then we'd like put them around the room room and then light a black and then you saw them all like glow up yeah it was it was a thing it was a thing what is this guy i think this guy just needs an impair mm. no this isn't gonna work shit shish kebab oh my god i'm an idiot that build would have worked fuck i'm getting tired <laughs> god damn it <laughs> that's why we're just waiting for the last uh <laughs> last the, uh, for the midnight the midnight boss. And well, I look at a build and try boss. and figure out if it's going to work or not, right? Whether it's just a waste of time to go in with it or if I should just wait for another one. And mm. I just missed. I thought I didn't have a consumer. And then I look over to the far right and like, oh, I did have a consumer right as the fucking build switches. Ugh. God damn it. That would have been workable. Fuck. Does this have an impair? I don't think so. See you, Rephim. Take it easy, Refum. Yep. See you next year. See you next year. Oh yeah, right. This would be the last, the last zero point of uh, 2023. Of That's it. We should have done yes. our, we should have done our uh, year in review. Oh yeah. <laughs> or we could do that for the first stream of 2024. Oh yeah, that's true. I guess. Um, just trying to think. Oh, you know what? I just realized. I don't think unless I just didn't hear you talk about it. Um, there is an event happening this week. Is it this weekend or next? I think it's next weekend. Uh, like a mega boss, like 24 hour event. I did not talk about that. No. Um, should it be on the forums? I think. Cause I, I, um, hold on. Let me, let me look. Uh, maybe com- is a community community corner? corner. Love someone tonight. Twenty uh, four hour mega bossathon, December thirtieth. Oh. Um. Oh, I see it. Yes. Uh let's do a crazy twenty four hour mega boss summon. The challenge for the community is to kill three hundred mega bosses within twenty four hours. A challenge for Ninja Enya is to tank through the entire 24 hours. Join us for as long as you can. Uh, and then there's uh, prizes as well. Eastern time, it um, would be 2 a.m. to 2 a.m., December 30th to December 31st. Prizes will be given to best 10 and following competition categories, highest amount of total damage during the entire 24-hour event, highest amount of total fight time during the entire 24-hour event. <clears throat> Current prize pot for the competition and raffle, 200 elaborate glyph fragments, 
200 resplendent talisman fragments, 200 Mark IV weapon fragments, and well, sponsored, sponsored, into, like, sponsored by sponsored Jimmy the by. Rabbit. 300 so, so above, Mark IV. Yeah, I was What's just that? saying, uh, above, above the ones you just read was who sponsored those. So I think the first oh, set yeah, sponsored Agnetha. by Ag Agnetha. Or Agnetha. Yeah. Uh, sponsored yeah, by, by you. Yeah. So he says 300 fragments. It's just an imbuer. 300 fragments makes an imbuer. I donated yeah. a Mark IV weapon imbuer. And five um, Energizing Talisman Empowerment Callus. Looks like someone else owned a weapon imbuer, too. Uh, 300 Mark IV weapon fragment. One unbound military backpack. Faction color. Yeah, that's what you get from the E17 raid. Have you seen them, right? The giant backpacks? Yeah. Currently working on currently more working prizes. on getting more and even cooler prizes. Stay tuned. Please reach out to me if you'd like to contribute to the prize pot. Side events to be announced. Vomer so is listed all as day. a co-organizer. Vomer. Oh, and oh, Vomer said, "Watch that thread tomorrow. They should have some news to add." Well, why couldn't they have added it today? God damn it! Did they not realize? We're having our show. Like, come on. Gosh. Rude. <laughs> Some people. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> the news is they're going to be giving away the uh, <laughs> the Black Watchman backpack. <laughs> How dare you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> to anyone who shows up. Not named no, anything. that is not what's happening. <laughs> At least, I don't think so. Dude, this shit gets expensive. Holy crap. Okay. Sales dropping pretty fast. New plan. Before yeah. I do this again, I'm going to look at what that day Zark and Garth is <laughs> and what the <laughs> challenge is before I decide to commit fucking like 100k MOF and God knows how much APSP to trying to do it. Seems fair. <laughs> because they got the news today. But if they got the news today, they should have added it today. What are you talking about? It's news they got today that they can't say until tomorrow. Or something. I'm obviously just fucking around. Yeah. Going back in. Yeah, I know it's on a different time zone. But he's supposed to be up 24 hours for the event, so he should be practicing that right now. <laughs> Don't you pr practice for a 24-hour no, stream by basically being what? up for 48 hours? Well, <laughs> you might you might be up for less time, right? But you have to like, you know, like 18 hours, 24 hours, 26 hours, 28 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you need to. You... Or you can do like I do. Maybe never yeah, work into it. Then you're always ready for it. <laughs> You just never sleep correctly. You're always prepared. That's my secret. I never sleep correctly. No, I, I never sleep well. 24 hour pregame by staying up for a week. Just, yeah, just don't sleep, period. Yeah. If you can stay up for a week, by that point, 24 hours is like, nothing. I'm not sure that's how that works, but okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think I was up for like 40 hours for one of the cherry streams technically because okay. i was up significant and a significant chunk of time before i started the 24-hour stream and then it wasn't 24 it was like 30 and then i didn't go to sleep right away for like a couple of hours or something so i think i had a i think yeah. one of the charities runs i was actually up for like 40 hours <clears throat> so my problem that i've noticed is basically like if i don't have to stay up for something I feel like I can stay up forever. But the second I have to do something, the second it's like, oh no, I have to stay up till 11 because I'm waiting for something, I'm like, 
it'll be like nine o'clock and i'll be like man i'm tired <laughs> well see that's why like the charity streams works right because i have a goal Like I constantly like engaged in what I'm doing. You like, you know what I mean? Like, like when I do the streams where I just play the game from start yeah. to end, like it's like next mission, next mission, next mission, next thing, next thing, next thing. So like as long as that's happening, I don't usually get tired. You try to pull hours like that again, but I was just, you know, dude, I'm like, I'm like, I'll be like 44 in a couple of months. I mean, I, I can still do, uh, I can still manage <laughs> to, to, to get through some, I think on the last, uh, this last one, right, the Age of Funcom stream, I think I have, like, mm -hmm. one five-hour energy at, at, like, I don't know, 6 a.m. or something. <laughs> like, just to, like, shake the shake the dust off. Yeah. What did they say? That's basically what caffeine does, is caffeine doesn't wake you up like people are like oh i need my caffeine to wake up caffeine doesn't actually wake you up it just prevents you from getting sleepy hmm. which is a it's a difference yeah dude i cannot get a fucking build jesus christ you can sleep through it i mean i mean yeah you can also sleep through caffeine too it's not okay, saying you like can't to... sleep i used to go to sleep like i used to go to bed and like take a sip of Mountain Dew and put it on my nightstand and then go to sleep. <laughs> like, it's like whatever. <laughs> whatever. I do what I want. But that's just because of uh, like you get a your body adjusts to certain caffeine levels. You would actually have a harder time sleeping with less caffeine. Because then you're at a, your body would be at a deficiency to what its norm is and it would mm -hmm. and it would um, not get in like a relaxed state. Right. Like, like you can get to the point where you need caffeine to go to sleep because your body gets used to a certain high level of it. And that's like it's low. Your body's like jittery. And so you, you can't sleep because you're, you're jittery. You actually need the caffeine to level out and go to sleep. Uh, my, my, my dad was a long haul truck driver when I was a kid. I'm telling stories of like, um, having to like pop a Vibrin to go to sleep, which is <laughs> okay. <laughs> which is you know, I don't know. Vi Vibrin's like the, the pills are like um, this was like back like in the mid '80s or something too. That shit was probably like basically like diet pills. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like some, some yeah. There, there's some variant of probably like methamphetamine in there somewhere. Cause they would give you like you give like a mm -hmm. new person that wasn't used to like pulling days at a time driving a Vibrant and they'd be like they wouldn't be able to yeah. sleep for like a day and a half right they'd just be like <laughs> climbing <No>. the walls <laughs> and they like some of them some yeah, of those like, guys would get so yep. used to that shit they'd have to take one to they literally have to take one to go to sleep which is like insane you're like I need to I need to wind down I need to take I need to take this upper to wind down be like what 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 is in this pill it's meth. <laughs> I mean, that's what, you know, that's what diet pills used to be, right? Like, <laughs> basically, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, not even basically. Like, they were. Like, mm -hmm. they straight up were just methamphetamine. <laughs> mm hmm I was with my uh, my in-laws, my, my wife's uh, parents and, and her, her mom's grandparents, right? And they were talking about, like, back in the day, like, you know, uh, you know, uh, her grandpa would, you know, go they take like a road trip or something and he'd drive for like 24 hours. He'd just like take a diet pill. And I was like, you know, you were just doing meth, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, we're talking like, like sixties or seventies. Like that's was straight up methamphetamine. Like yeah. I know it said diet pill, but <laughs> you, yeah. you were driving for 24 hours straight wide awake as all fuck that, that you were on methamphetamine. Yeah. <laughs> you just didn't what know it. Diet really. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it just I mean, that was your body's metabolism. Yeah, quite a bit. I say that's why yeah, it's you... funny because it's true. <laughs> it's funny, but it's true. Yeah. I mean, um, I was it was all big. It's a big problem with like like mid mid America, like housewives and stuff had a massive uh, meth problem, like like mm. long long time ago, right? 
because they would they would take like diet pills and have energy to like clean the house and you know do all kinds of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> And they're like, oh, actually, they were just fucking high. And, and the thing is, like, you, I don't know, you can't really blame them, right? They didn't know. Right. They It was basically they were sold what they were thinking was something that was a lot safer than it was. Yeah. And they took it and they felt great on it. They're like, no, this is the best stuff ever. Exactly. You're like, what, what do you mean? This is amazing. Yeah. What do you mean this stuff's bad? What are you talking about? It's fine. But it goes on the whole, like, yeah, Seven Up contained lithium. Uh, Coca Cola had cocaine. Yup. Like, yep. Mm. It was a wild time. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, all that stuff never really hurt anybody. <laughs> Just begs how humans function. Very carefully. Wild creatures with thumbs. Yep. It's that opposable thumbs that really did it for us. Mm. He has this ability. What are you doing on the second hill? You are? Oh, no, you're not in here. Waffle's not Waffle's not yeah. with you. So I was like, what's going on on the screen over there? There's nothing happening. No. <laughs> that explains why my sitting are running around. <laughs> night, Bomber. Have a great night. Sweet dreams. See you, Bomber. Thank you for stopping by and chatting. Always appreciated. It's almost done. Quick, get in here. Can't. I think the portal's long closed. Oh, it has. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> it's done. <laughs> I can't believe I made it to the gatekeeper like twice, three times. It's impressive. God. I mean, it's impressive that I fumbled the ball the first time. <laughs> If I literally just hadn't used one ability at the wrong time, I it was winnable. I just I accidentally hit my impair, and then he fucking went and full healed, and like it just like if if I hadn't used it then right if I hadn't used it, I could have damage buffed winged. I think I think I had wings. Maybe I didn't have wings. I could have damage buffed. Burned him down during Anima Drain and then impaired so he couldn't heal and, like, probably skipped an Anima Drain phase. And I would have had plenty of time. Like, it would have been fine. Mm. Uh, all, all you have to do, though, is miss, like, one impair and you fuck that whole thing up. And then he's, like, back at full health and now you don't have the time to do anything. And, like, yeah. Oh. Sag. What are you going to do? But, man, this, this boss set has, like, this fucking sucked, man. Vampire to <laughs> ghoul to to fucking flame dude. The only good what, part what was the fourth platform was the broken one. So that guy mm -hmm. just glitches out. So like fourth one was like a freebie, but like ghoul fucking deal 30% more damage. That's just you know, like that's that's not a fun challenge mode. I like the I prefer the chaos chaotic energies one or mm -hmm. like the one that the one that just shortens your time because you can at least buy the time extender and like offset that a little bit, or meteor shower even like you gotta avoid circles. That's but you know it's not that big a deal until you get hit by one and knocks you off a ledge and you lose a life. But you know hey. you have a little you have a little more agency in that one. Like meteor shower can just never hurt, like hit you the whole run and then like. You know what I'm saying? Like, as long as you're paying attention and moving correctly, mm -hmm. that challenge doesn't have to ever, like, hurt you, potentially. Oh, yeah. As long as you're, yeah, just getting out of the way. Yeah, whereas, like, the boss is doing 30% more damage, like, you're just getting hit harder permanently yeah. the whole time <laughs> by every single boss, every single hit. You know what I mean? Every single hit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, like, it's, like, one is significantly worse than the other. And then the Chaotic Energies one just randomizes, like, the daily. So, like, your Dark Garth is different from everyone else's. 
and everything gets an additional modifier, which mm. that can be kind of shitty depending on which bosses you get and what modifiers they get. Mm-hmm. Especially at E17, because they already get a fuck ton. Like, second boss has one, two, three, four, five, six modifiers. <laughs> Oof. You know? So, like, that could be... That could be bad. You know, you just get all, like, a bunch of... The boss does a bunch of shit. All right. Anyway. Can we finish? I think this is good for the stream. Uh, Jimmy, are you going to be continuing to stream, or are you done, too? Uh, no, I'm probably ending too, honestly. All right. Oh, Manga Spirit. Have a have a happy holiday as well. See you next year. Manga is saying, uh, the same oh, I see you. Much. I see them on your channel. Uh, agents, this has been the Zero Point Report, strain 88 KNB. You can catch us recording live every first and third Thursday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, or at least the third one. Uh, here on the Zero Point Report Twitch channel, where you can also join us and chat with us while we do the show live, or download our show wherever podcasts are found so you can listen to us on the go. Jimmy, where can we find you online? I believe you can still find me at Linktree slash Jimmy the Rabbit. Find all, all my all my things. Fair enough. And Two Ton Waffle, where can we find you? You can find me at twotonwaffle.com. You got all my links right there in the uh, header. Makes it easy. Yep. And I'm Ocho. You can find me on Twitch, Blue Sky, and Macedon. Uh, all links at linktree slash Big Mikey Ocho. Uh, you can get to on Twitter at Zero Point Report, checking out previous shows on our YouTube channel, and joining us on our Discord server, both named The Zero Point Report. So, from all of us here at The Zero Point Report, we want to thank you for tuning in and wish you all the best from the secret world. Have a great night, everybody, and we'll see you next year. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Happy holidays. Woo. See you next year. <laughs>